Well, here we are back at the Reading Falls Street Fair, and we're pleased to be here today with the chairman of the Reading Falls Street Fair Committee, Steve Goldie. Welcome today, Steve. Yes, thank you. Well, it looks like it's a pretty uh, successful fair so far today. The weather's held out for the sixth year in a row, which <laughs> we're very happy about. The turnout's been phenomenal. Yeah, it looked a little sketchy last night. So, <laughs> yeah. well, We don't have lightning, we don't have rain, we don't have wind, so I'm very happy. Yeah, excellent. Very happy. So there seems to be an awful lot of booths here today. About how many booths are there? Um, I think... I. D Approximately 167, 170 booths, which okay. is up from last year. Oh, wow, that's terrific. Yeah. And you expect a greater turnout? It seems like the turnout is really good, too. Yeah, you, you can never tell, but I think this is the biggest turnout we've had so far. Yeah. Um, we still have a couple hours left to the fair. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. So talk a little bit about the process of organizing this. I know you, know, you certainly don't start, you know, in July <laughs> to get this done. Correct. Talk a little bit, you know, let us know how it gets started. Yep, we have a, um, a street fair committee. There are um, five voting members to the committee, but we also have um, a good number of volunteers who are not voting members. So an active committee that starts meeting probably around April. Mm -hmm. We start around April. Um, we start with logistics planning at that point. Also, um, John Feudal, our head of um, recreation, runs it. And we also have George Jazeri and Mike Debregard, our retired DPW. Mm -hmm. They're um, both instrumental in helping get the fair together. So we set up the logistics around April. And in May, we start reaching out to the vendors, starting to let them know and scheduling the entertainment at the different stages. Okay. So we have two stages of entertainment plus an open mic stage as well. Wow. wow. So it's, um, there's a lot of work from about 12 different people, including town staff. And, and we start meeting every other week. Then we start meeting every week in June. And, <laughs> and it's, it's a pretty daunting task. But it, truly, it gets a little easier every year because... Sure. Success breeds success, and uh, I must say true. we've done very well. Well, that kind of leads into what I was thinking about is, is do you go out and solicit for vendors, or do you find that now, because it's been successful, the vendors are really kind of coming to you? Right. This is our sixth year with the fair, and we solicited vendors the first two years. We haven't had to really since. Sure. That's uh, awesome. It kind of runs itself now yeah. in, that, in that sense. In that, in that area, and, sure. And you know what? It, when you have this many people in a community come out to see the, each other and say hello to each other, and then buy goods, the word spreads quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have what do you, you s oh, go ahead. Have you had a chance to walk around the fair, um, appreciate all of your hard work? Do you have a favorite part of the fair right now? Um, well, I'm partial to the, the um, classic and antique car show because oh, I yeah. organize that as well. We just gave out the trophy to a, uh, a Buick convertible GS, which is a beautiful wow. car. Ooh, yeah. um, what year? It was a 19, uh, I'm not going to quote it because I'll say it wrong, so <laughs> I apologize. It's a, a muscle car from the early 70s. All right, all right. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking 70, 71. All right, excellent. Um, it's a beautiful car, but I, I have not had a chance to fully walk the fair yet because there's always something going of on. Of course. <laughs> well, how do you see that the, uh, something like the Reading Street Fair helps out uh, the community of Reading beyond the community feel that we get today? Correct. Well, the, the Reading Fair was designed six years ago to show off downtown. We had just completed the downtown um, project, mm -hmm. and it was a way to celebrate that and invite businesses to come in town and show them what we do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's still important, and that's what it does, is it, it shows what we as a community can do economically. Um, and the second benefit is that we get a lot of the community comes out just to see each other. Sure. And I, I, I'm hearing that a lot from people today is, oh, well, this is a great time because I get to see that one and this one. And we just finished a busy summer. Not everybody saw each other. So it's a great way to get the community to interact. Well, that sounds terrific. I know it's a busy day for you. And we thank, yeah. uh, thank you for taking the time to come by and, and chat with us a little bit and share about uh, everything that's going on. And thank you and the whole committee and uh, the town employees as well for putting this all together. Yes. Correct. Laura, why don't you send us into break? Um, we will be right back.